What's up guys? Today we are watching Season 5, Episode 2 of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode was quite a bit. Some stuff was happening on Michael's side that kind of, you know, made Tommy spiral throughout the whole episode. He was stressed out. It was a whole different thing. And we found out that Ada is pregnant. We know who the dad is. Tommy doesn't. I want to know how he's going to react when he finds out. We'll see. Maybe he'll find out at this episode. I don't know. But we also saw that Sam Claflin, I think that's his last name. We saw that he's in this show. And I don't know what kind of role he's playing in this yet. But hopefully he'll be on our side. He might not be, but I'm just hoping because I like that dude. But we will see. So I guess let's just hop into the episode. Who the hell is outside? It just turned morning and it's the beginning of the episode. He saw that from all the way from his house. But like, who's on it? Oh, I thought it was going to be an actual person, but it's just like something dressed like him. I am so confused. Is he stepping on a bomb? Like one of those step things? I didn't think about it until I heard like the ticking of the clock. Wait, is there just like a tripwire thing or is it actually like a plate? No, I swear to God. The kid has no idea, so. That is a phone call for you. Good boy, good boy. He has no idea how terrified Tommy was for him. And Charlie, Charlie, you play loudly, you might hear some bangs. <sighs> Come on. So he plans on setting it off. So maybe I was tripping and it wasn't a bomb because you would think he would be more careful right now in case he like set something off but so there was a bomb okay I just missed a call where was he from Belfast, Belfast. Where in Belfast? Is that who like sent the thing? I'm guessing it would be. Tommy, don't believe. Of course, Michael is in trouble. She kind of looked like Emily Blunt for a second. Him home. Very well, Mr. Shelby. Damn, so now Michael gets to go home, but not in a good situation. Socialism. You're now on the side of the angels. 
And angels can be useful to us. Now I'm kind of wondering if they were actually telling the truth. Dad, I've learned something this morning. Have you? Is he going to show him what he learned? Look, it's a work in progress, but it's not completely horrible. Go on. I was about to say, who the hell is that? Wake up. Rise and shine. Oh, so Finn was in there. <laughs> well, then what am I? What am I, Jesus Christ? <clears throat> yeah, what am I, Tom? Huh? I'm the brother you never got round to. You're a general, Finn. Finn, look at this. This is the bullet that Abba Rama Gold cut from you. First and last. I was about to say, you carried around that bullet? Oh, and uh, Tom. Yep. While you're here, um, I've met this girl and I'd like to get married. Fuck off. Go. Get dressed. So quick. Wait. Was it the girl who left? She likes the life. She likes the life, eh? We'll find one that hates it. Look at him. That's what he did. Now he's chairman of the board. He got a point. Oh. You like the life, Tommy? I don't like the fucking life. Who likes... Who likes the life? I heard him say one thing, um, just talking, you know, they were saying that, uh, you, you don't sleep or something. You... Arthur's a concerned brother. When I do sleep, I dream. And in my dream... There's grace. Someone wants my crown. Oh. Uh, I was automatically just thinking about last episode whenever she showed up. But that also wasn't a dream. It was like... A delusion. His name was Levitt. Uh -huh. He was a journalist. I was about to say, what does that have to do with him? But literally at the end of the episode, dude was shot. So, okay. As do I and Thelonious. But not frivolity. A man who walks in the park with other men. Dies. As well as his diary, we have his notebook. Your time's up, Mr. Stacker. It makes sense while they're questioning him, since he was, like, basically the last person to see him. But it's just, just like, the fact that they brought up he was queer, like, do they really think that I was part of the problem? Oh yeah, Polly. This is Gina. Gina Gray. The captain. So he did. On board. He's married. You didn't even said anything to her first. The ship docked at Belfast. I was then taken off the ship by two men. At gunpoint. I'm speaking to my son. Fuck you. Don't you dare come at them. Well, where are you going now, right? Hmm? Introduce me at least. Excuse me. Look at this. 
it would have been a better situation if he actually introduced her first to them, but she, he comes home just automatically married. Like, I want to go home. I've booked you a suite at the Midland Hotel. Was that Tommy's orders then, was it? So she ain't bringing him home to her house. Baby, forget about it. Go and phone Tommy. Tell him. Polly says Michael's telling the truth. Okay, so he didn't betray his family. Hi. Oh. Welcome to the family, Gina Gray. So they took, I was gonna say they took Polly's last name. But then again, did Michael take Polly's last name? So he's Michael Gray? I didn't know that we knew about this. We've had enough. We are the people and we've had enough. I move in favor of the amendment. Is she watching him or was he watching her? It was just weird how they panned back and forth between them, but it didn't even look like they were looking at each other. Mr. Shelby, I must say, you sing like a songbird in the house. And who is this pretty Finch? My sister. You no, know, I was rather hoping we might have this meeting alone. My sister is my political advisor. And my advice just now was don't meet Mr. Mosley. Because I am dangerous. What's up with you and the word dangerous, bro? Is that? Towards fascism. We are the people and we have had enough. Which direction are you heading, Mr. Shelby? I am my own revolution. Die long. What do you mean? I'd go on and start calling anyone who had dealings with Shelby Company Limited while you were in Boston. Ask him about Michael. Did they not call him and tell him Michael was telling the truth? I'm talking about an empty chair. Ida, my chair, my throne, throne, eh? Linda, she wants them for Arthur. How about I'm a girl, people in the north, Michael. So he's scared of losing his place. A black cat dream means there is a traitor close by with you who taught me that. Black cat can mean lots of things. So maybe he thinks it actually is Michael, but what if it's not? It's gonna be someone else. I would also like to uh, say something. Sit down, Michael. I betrayed you. Michael. But only in my heart. Um, I thought you just said you didn't betray him earlier. Hollywood. But Gina stopped me. Gina said that. I told you to sit down, Michael. You won't even hear the man out? The IRA commander said the men from Glasgow were called Billy Boys. Fucking Billy Boys. I don't know who the fuck Billy Boys are. I don't either. Giving you the good news. The reason Gina and I got married on the ship was because Gina is pregnant. You're going to be a grandmother. So we got two pregnant people this season. Just remember. Your unborn child has witnessed what you said. Thomas. And it will be born. Be an ushery, Michael, are you? You lost this company a lot of money. I told you to sell. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused. What did he mean about his son? <sighs> He's got friends in hard places these days. Black cat dream is never wrong, brother. So then, if it wasn't Michael, then who was it that betrayed him? 
Or was that just his way of saying, like, he knew it? I don't know. Creepy. So they're the ones that put up the thing for Tommy. Good. Mouth broke so you can't talk. But you don't need to. Your body will be the lesson. They're really both gonna die? As not. Good enough. <laughs> God damn, like Farewell, fighter boy. You died well. In front of his dad. Tell Tommy Shelby it's time to fucking share. Take all the tracks out as far as nothing. So he's not gonna kill the dad. I thought he was gonna kill the dad since he was shot, but no. It's the dude's son. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna take a short break. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> he got that intimidated? They were cheering him on. Or wait, no, they were there to talk to him. And I was telling you about him. Billy, this is my kid, bro. Finn. Hey. Have a drink, Billy. You, you're just gonna keep saying Billy? And so there's a dude named Billy, and then there's the Billy boys. What else? Hmm? You're in here, singing, or whatever the fuck you call it, in shit's old pubs in Birmingham. What if he just likes singing? You'll listen to him, won't you, Bill, eh? You'll be attentive, won't you? Yeah, of course, of course. As I hear, he'll show you the fucking consequences if you don't. Is that the trouble he meant whenever he said, I'll give you some trouble? to like deal with or something. Right, what I want from you, Billy, is for you to write down a name and a number next to every one of those football teams, yeah? You're a peaky blinder now, Billy. Hmm? That's... It's different when he says it. Whenever Arthur or Tommy says it, it feels better. I don't know how to explain it. Worse the last few hours, hmm? Yeah. And we've come up with a plan. Oh, you've come up with a plan, huh? Lizzie says Tommy won't live two more years if he carries on like this. He's gone too far. What does that mean? How do you know? It's not fucking He's off! It's going to blow up, Arthur! It can't sustain! Okay. You know it! Oh, yeah? And what do you know? I, you've worked it all out, you and... God damn, Arthur. Calm your shit. All you're gonna do is you're gonna be the good fucking wife. Yeah, like the perfect couple. We'll go upstairs. Hmm? You know what? I'd want to divorce you. I'm sorry, Arthur. Actually, you know what? I'm not sorry. I don't like that shit. I burns it. So did Arthur. Did you read it first? Yes. He didn't read his first, so... I left school too early. Did you read the bit about the lawyers? Do you want to fuck? Didn't think so. At a time like this? It's Ruby's birthday today, Tommy. Do you know why I took her to Arthur's? He didn't even know it was... He didn't know it was his own daughter's birthday and she's scared of him. 
Should you choose to depart, Tommy, either by your own hand or someone else's, the person who would take your place is me. Legally, financially. It would be weird. It's it w it's a weird thinking that she would take his place. Our business. About the night you met Michael Gray. What if her letter is saying that she's divorcing him? And he made it to her party thing. That's sweet. Okay, kids, come on, let's go to bed quickly. Why? Who's coming? That's the thing, Charles. We don't know. We never know. People really showing up at this hour? Like, come on, it's his kid's birthday. What if it's a dude from earlier whose kid died? You're looking for traitors. There's one <laughs> with his ribs messed up. The man's gone fucking messed up. So it was, dude, okay. They killed him. My son. They shot him and they put him up with a fucking cross and he's fucking dead. And it's on Ruby's birthday. Even though that's not really a point right now, but. No, I swear to God, I never told us all so I never told us so fucking shoot it. Come here, see that? Stop watching, Charlie, and go to your room. They crucified my son. For you. Don't tell me that makes him the villain. Get away from my house! All of you! Get away from my child! Okay, Lizzie. Do you want to take on the Billy Boys? You need me alive. Everyone fucking needs me. In all the world, of all of the people, you alone I know I can trust. Why, just him? Did it. I swear to God. I swear it's like they can never catch a break. <sighs> Lizzie really showed a crazy side this episode. And you know what? I'm not mad about it. She gonna have the right to I was surprised, but I mean, the way she's been getting treated lately, the way Linda has been getting treated, Tommy and Arthur have been treating both of them like shit. And it's, I feel so bad because it's like, at that point, what's the point of being married if you're just treated like that, you know? So even though I don't, like Linda too much she's okay but like with the shit that they're like doing to her same thing with Lizzie I hate it I hate how they're being treated like shit and then with the dude's kid dying I didn't know that they were gonna just freaking crucify him in front of him who does that the Billy boys obviously but it's like in that episode they were new characters. They came in last season. And the son's already dead. And then now they're going to go after the dudes who killed his son. And it's like... Tommy is going on like a mental spiral and everything in a way. 
but he also seems so normal at the same time. Like, mmm, so hard to explain. It's like the fact that Michael came back and said that he's married and just expected them to take it like that. He didn't introduce them or anything. He straight up just said, I'm married now. Bam. How else do you expect people to react to that, you know? But he can do whatever the hell he wants. He's back home. I don't know how long for. Maybe for the season. Hopefully. But at least he's back now, you know? But like, this whole time I'm just trying to think about who the actual like black cat Tommy's been talking about is because it's like I feel like it's gonna be someone that we won't like totally expect and it's like yeah they're giving us people to suspect about it but it's like I don't know who to believe and who to not believe and it's just hard to tell like can I just know already like is it gonna be a big ass surprise i don't know hopefully not it can't be polly because we already had shit with her in the other season leave her be is it gonna be someone in the family what if it's finn no i don't know i just need to stop thinking about it because <laughs> it's just gonna play in my mind over and over again until i know i like I'm just ready to see how it's gonna be whenever they actually go after the dudes that killed other dudes' son. They have a reason to go after them dudes, so they better be fucking scared. But it's like, it keeps switching back and forth between like the Peaky Blinders being scary and then also not. I don't know how to feel about it. It is so weird, but like, I don't know how that shit is gonna end like I want to say it's gonna end with like people on our side dead like a good bit of people but I also don't know you know it's just so much to think about with like what's going on in this season and it's only episode two we have four more episodes I don't know but I'm ready to see how all this shit is gonna go down so I guess Come back for episode three.